Hello, this is Mocha Product Manager Martin Brennan taking you through a quick overview of the new stereo features in Mocha VR and Mocha Pro. In Mocha 5.6 we've taken the complete stereo toolset from Mocha Pro standalone and adapted it for use with Mocha Pro VR and the Mocha plugins. This means you can now use all the Mocha tools you love, but apply them to both stereo views at the same time. For those working in Stereo 360, the new support in Mocha VR will provide you with an easy way to not only handle roto, tracking and cleanup jobs in 360 video, but will now be able to handle everything in both eyes without having to double up on your work. First of all, we've expanded the format support for stereo. Previously you could only add individual view streams to your stereo project, but now we support the very popular top bottom or over under format, along with left right combined and standard stereo formats. In the plugin, we now have a drop down available at the top of the effect to choose your stereo type. Once you've selected a view mapping, opening the Mocha GUI splits the stereo format into the left and right eyes so you can begin work immediately on one view. In hosts like Nuke that support native stereo, you can also feed in your combined views directly into Mocha without needing to split out individual streams first. Tracking in stereo works just like normal tracking, but automatically applies the hero track to the other eye. For example here we draw a shape in the left view and align our surface. When we switch to the right view you can see that the shape and the surface are not yet offset. To correct this we turn on track all views and begin tracking. As soon as the first frame is tracked the right view is immediately offset correctly through the rest of the shot. To speed things up you can also choose to just track the hero view and then manually offset the other view using the stereo offset tab in the track module. Once tracked, you can then use the stereo data to insert objects into your scene using the insert module. All rendered views can be previewed in stereo using the 3D button, including interlaced stereo view, anaglyph or difference modes. You can then render to file, or in the plugin version you can render back to the host timeline in both views by closing and saving the Mocha project, then choosing either insert composite for the combined render, or insert cutout for an alpha. Mocha rotoscoping also utilizes stereo tracking to offset in both views. Here we are rotoing out a car, but we only have to deal with the left eye as the right eye is automatically being offset by the tracking data. Any manual keyframe changes you make to the roto shapes are also offset correctly. However, since stereo can sometimes reveal more of an object in one view than the other, you can also keyframe individual views, allowing you to continue offset via the left view or modify the offset with right view keyframes. This is shown by coloured keyframes in the timeline, so it's easy to see what has been animated per view. All Roto can then be rendered or exported as required. Here we're using the Adobe plugin to apply the matte we rotoscoped in both views back into After Effects. Just like the insert example we showed previously, all render modules are supported in stereo. The remove module works exactly the same way as before, but again will render to both views or a single view based on your preference. You roto out the foreground object you want to remove, and track the background in stereo so you have all the available information in both eyes. One big difference in stereo remove however is that you can opt to choose if remove information comes from the same eye or another eye, which can be helpful in situations when you have something obscured in one eye that isn't in the other. You can then just choose render to all views and start rendering to have everything cleaned up. You can speed up the workflow in stereo removes by creating a clean plate in one view and then using that single view clean plate to help remove both views at the same time. Everything can then be rendered back to the host timeline by choosing remove from the module render options and checking render. For quickly patching out areas in 360 stereo you can also use the Mocha VR lens rendering workflow. In this premiere example we use Mocha's lens undistort render option and choose a camera view. This flattens the camera in both views to the pole where the camera rig sits. We can then nest the undistorted layer and duplicate it, masking out a section of the ground nearby in both views and moving the feathered patch over the top of our rig layer below. We can then nest this layer group and reapply the Mocha effect back on top, selecting Lens Distort to redistort the patch to echo rectangular. This can all then be comped on top of the original plate to hide the camera rig. This provides a quick and easy way to blend in a stereo patch by just using the built-in render modes without even having to enter the Mocha GUI. Mocha VR's Reorient module handles stabilizing in stereo as well. The stereo tracking handles the horizon or near objects to get the VR camera rotation, and then all the Reorient parameters can be keyed per view. 
If you'd like to see more on the new Reorient features in 5.6, see our other video entitled Mocha VR 5.6 Stabilizing 360 Footage. The Mocha 5.6 stereo options will help you streamline your stereo work, especially for those delving into the expanding world of Stereo VR. As always, if you have any questions, please do visit us at the BorisFX forums, or grab new tutorials and information at borisfx.com.